Hey everyone, Joe Lancer. Today we're in Bellingham, Washington. Here, my good friend, Mr. Scott. Outside of AB Crepes. Yes, AB Crepes. Right there. Let's see. Oh, it's a little rainy. That's why I'm doing this in the car and not outside. Hold on. AB Crepes. AB Crepes. Which their thingy thing is, their slogan is unique crepes for unique people. Anyway, here we are doing their crepe challenge. This is a 10 pound crepe challenge. It's to eat, I believe it's 26 of their crepes. I mean, it's a team challenge between two people. You do have one hour. If not, you gotta pay for all the crepes. You can get different flavors, etc. That's all I know. We actually tried to do this challenge two years ago. Yes, literally over, actually not over, over two years ago. Um, but they only offer it like Monday to Thursday in the mornings or something. So that's where we are. So let's go have fun with these food. Wish us luck, giant crepe challenge. That's about it. Let's squeeze food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the crepes. Absolutely giant, giant stacks. Um, we do need to open these up. Apparently they are like super steaming hot in there. I don't know, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see that. Very, very hot on the inside. Um, so we have the 26 crepes. They have a pile of 13 and 13. We do not each have to like eat 13. Like for example, Scott could eat 20, I could eat six. It would still win the same. We do also have a side of their jelly and a side of their marinara sauce. Um, apparently this is actually standard. Uh, and they will not let us have any different flavors of crepes or varieties. So that is what we have with it, with the th plain crepes here. These are absolutely crazy dense. Um, these are all folded up. So it's a big giant crepe, which is like, I don't know, 18 inch diameter basically. And they folded it into a triangle. So yeah, besides that, pretty straightforward, 60 minutes. Um, there has been 339 attempts, I believe they said, or we're, the th we're 339, there's been seven winners prior and 331 failures, yes, 331 failures everybody, they get somebody to try this challenge about once a week they say right now, and this challenge has been around for 10 years, so not a lot of winners, definitely a difficult challenge, um, Scott, what do you think man? You know, uh, I'm a little full right now, but uh, I'm willing to try this as a nice little uh, dessert. So, but uh, smells really good. And we've got, uh, you know, a little bit of strawberry there. This, by the way, this is not required, so we don't have to have this. It's just optional. Yeah, this is the only, and that's the only option we can use, like yes. flavoring, no syrup, anything else. So, yeah. anyway, that let's get started here, just momentarily. Everyone, so we might as well get started. Uh, like you said, definitely a lot of food. Um, but yeah, an update. We actually could not uh, unstack them before the time started. They would not let us unstack them to cool down at all. Apparently that is part of the challenge. So burning yourself is part of the challenge. So that, let's uh, get started. Hopefully we can become the, I guess, eighth winning team. Uh, I'm gonna undo the bell. I think we need some extra room there. Scott, can you hand me my uh, syrup and marinara, please? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Grab that in case I want that. Yeah, get that in the middle, that works too. Okay, well, everyone, so how do we get started? Save a count of uh, five. Oh my gosh, these are steaming hot. Uh, two, one, let's go. Go. Cheers. And it tastes like crepe. It's like a pancake. I definitely understand why those flavors. are limited, but it's not as exciting. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at AB Crepes. Yes, AB Crepes in Bellingham, Washington. So about like 40-ish minutes north of Seattle. I'm here doing their AB Crepe Challenge. So as you saw earlier, there was a large, large, large number of attempts, very few winners, like, you know, eight winning teams out of, you know, however many hundred attempts. Steam it off. Definitely. Um, so interesting challenge because we went into the challenge expecting something very different. I've seen a couple different videos of people doing this challenge, such as our friend Randy Santel, and they were allowed to pick the flavors of crepes they wanted, so they were able to have like, you know, whether it be chocolate crepes, like sweet crepes, savory crepes, they're able to have strawberries or whipped cream or anything on the side they wanted, but they told us we couldn't have anything. That's smart, you get the edges first. We could literally only have the crepes, and then a sm that small little container of marinara and that small little container of strawberry jam. So we were very disappointed about that, to be honest, um, because essentially we had a pile of plain crepes. 
um, which you know this would have been so much more enjoyable should we have had the flavors i'm not really sure why there was you know the inconsistency of other individuals being allowed to have flavors and such and we were not um, but nonetheless they said that's the rule not sure if that's a new rule or not but that is it is what it is so uh you know we had the one hour to eat all of the crepes it is a large 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 amount it is about 10 to 11 pounds of crepes at least that's the kind of proposed weight you know but like i said large amount really interesting as well that they would not allow us to divvy up the crepes at all so we were each given like a big plate like one stack each we couldn't divvy them up which was just unfortunate um from the fact of they were really hot and we were kind of like arguably at risk of burning ourselves and Three in. when i inquired about this literally the lady said oh well that's just kind of part of the challenge so i mean fair enough you do sign a waiver i guess they want people to eat overly hot food and which ultimately just kind of takes away from the experience some flavors would have been really nice so that's kind of what we walked into like i said not exactly what we were expecting but you know, you just roll with the punches, you make the best of it. So this was our second challenge of the day. Um, we went into this hoping for dessert, uh, whereas, you know, we kind of just had the pile of crepes. Um, but besides that, I think it's like pretty straightforward. I mean, literally it is a pile of, I don't even know what to call it, like cooked dough, pancake-ish crepes. Um, what I did find was very interesting is while I've had a lot of different crepes in my life, um, these crepes were very kind of like gummy. Um, very like they were almost like still like you can kind of see by the texture of the way they kind of flop around in our hands they weren't kind of drier like a pancake they weren't uh, there was no like, crispness um, it was kind of just like a really interesting kind of gummy uh, gooey pancake and I think with the addition of like some real flavors or sauces you know like they had like ones called like chunky monkey you know you could have got ones with like Nutella maybe caramel again even just having like some whipped cream or some kind of a sauce even like maple syrup they wouldn't even allow us to have like a maple syrup or you know a pancake syrup i think having that you know this could be enjoyable but it is what it is like i said so let me know down below if you have a favorite flavor of crepe and what you would like if you had to pick one topping what that would be so if i had to pick one topping for this challenge i would have picked hmm I'm gonna go with a sugar-free syrup. I'm gonna play it safe. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot, a lot of crepes, a lot of potential flavor fatigue, no diversity. Just about five minutes in, make my way through them. A little bit this flavor. I don't know how many through we both are. We'll try some of this strawberry jelly, raspberry. That's a nice mix up. And already said being full from having another challenge done just moments before this. So with that everyone, let's get to the rest of the video. Let's see what happens. And uh, maybe I'll talk to you a little bit later. Half over done. Or just half over whatever, you know what I mean. Halfway. It's a very dense stack of grapes. That's it. A lot of crepes. 
Not the same flavor. Not the same. Two left for me, maybe three left for Scott. Ooh. It's getting it done, guys, slowly but surely. A lot of food. So we're 17 minutes in. Coming on to the last bite. Just finished up. That was definitely a uh, lot, a lot of food. But some like 20 minutes, 20 seconds, something like that. You guys have time on screen. Uh, definitely a lot more difficult than I would have anticipated. Um, you know, a lot of food for a second challenge a day. So, but we do get the 60 meal for free, 60 dollar meal for free. We also get uh, our 20 dollar reversal slash damage deposit back, which is cool. Um, but that's about that, guys. So yeah, pretty much one of I believe eight winners in 10 years out of basically 340 attempts. So. Until next time, everybody. Stay happy, hungry, happy, get in. That's about it, guys. So have a lovely day. Don't eat this many crepes. Just that's it. Just goodbye. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.